Melting Arctic ice will have catastrophic effects on the world, experts say. The Arctic is the front line for climate change, according to scientists. These are just some of the headlines coming out over the last 24 hours. Unprecedented die-offs, melting ice. Climate change is wreaking havoc in the Arctic and beyond. Now, if there's any doubt about climate change, look no further than the coldest region on the planet for proof that the planet is warming at an unprecedented rate, experts have told us. The Arctic is heating up twice as fast as the rest of the world. According to this year's Arctic report card, released last week by the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. The phenomenon known as Arctic amplification occurs when sea ice, which is white, thins or disappears, allowing dark ocean or land surfaces to absorb more heat from the sun and release that energy back in the atmosphere. And according to experts, the Arctic is melting away Polar bears are dying, as well as the rest of the planet. Now, widely considered by polar scientists as Earth's refrigerator, due to its role in regulating global temperature, the mass melting of sea ice and permafrost and ice caps in the Arctic is hard evidence of global warming, according to the experts. And there you have it. The, wa the water's melting off of the glaciers. Clearly, we're all burning up. Now, the Arctic is the front line for climate change. Climate scientist Jessica Merriman, vice president of science and policy at the Evangelical Environmental Network, a faith-based environmental group, told ABC News, we should be paying careful attention to what is happening in the Arctic. It may seem like it's far away, but the impacts come knocking at our front door. Now, this statement is embarrassing because apparently she didn't go to the Sea Ice Index, the Arctic and Antarctic Wide Changes in Sea Ice National Snow and Ice Data Center, to even look at the sea ice extent for, let's say, November of this year, which was, well, the same as it's been for 40 years. She also didn't look at the Northern Hemisphere Extent Anomaly, showing a, ma a marked increase since 2015 by up to 15%. And if she came over here at the Arctic sea ice extent, which is live, current, she would see that the current sea ice extent right now is in the interdecile range, which means it's completely normal going back to 1981, before global warming was a thing. And if we look at the annual sea ice data, going back as far as they'll allow us to look, which is 2005, we're going to see that we are at a 17-year high for Arctic ice as of today. There is no other higher Arctic ice except for 2014. All the way back since records been kept, according to these global warmists. We are now back into interdecile range back into 1981, before the global warming scare. Now, if Arctic ice has been building, this rapidly, all the way back to the 1981 numbers. Why are garbage articles like this still being published by the mainstream media? Oh, oh, I know. They're propaganda. They're not factual. In fact, they all say if we just look up north at the data, well, I just did. And you're all full of shite. It must be a Christmas miracle that we are at a 17-year high in Arctic ice as the Arctic melts away. If we just look at the total snow mass for the Northern Hemisphere, as we've been doing on this channel, it's been above multi-decadal averages every year for the last six years. Well above for every single data point. Now, shut up, Al. Get in your hole. We didn't invent the Internet. But they did. And since the passing of the Smith Munt Modernization Act back in 2012, the mainstream media is nothing more than propaganda for the government. That's a boom to knowledge. Stick with the winners.
We're here for the science, not for the sideshow. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people and be safe. Ho, ho, ho. That's boom. We love you. Nee, nee, nee.